Why visit Stroudheim's Display Home, Providence Estate, South Ripley. You can find them on Google Maps. Now, Marnie, our special guest this morning, he's joined us in the studio. He's a regular guest here. Ira, the sexy psychic. Good morning, mate. Good morning. Good morning, hello, guys. Hello. All right. Do you need me to tell you about... You tell the story first. My, my little story this week. Your little thing. That I, um, obviously, I know Ira, and uh, I messaged him about something that happened at my place because I was a bit like, this is random. And I couldn't quite figure it out. But mm. I knew there was a reason behind it. Now, I have this uh, beautiful crystal that hangs sort of like on my front veranda. And uh, it, um, it's citrine. And it has like a, what is it? The shkorsh, I can never say it. Shkorsh, shkorsh. Thank you. Yeah. On the end. Uh, it's like a little prism. I, I <laughs> sold this stuff years ago. Inside, no? And I couldn't sell it then and say it. Anyway, it just disappeared. Totally disappeared. And we'd looked everywhere for it. Like, we're going, well, how can it just disappear? But it did. So anyway, walked up and pinched well, it that's what I thought. And I thought, okay, the thing is the veranda's locked. And mm. I thought that means someone's either getting in. And then I started to have panic attacks. So I said to Ira, Ira, tell me, has someone grabbed this or has it just misplaced itself because I'm freaking out about all the possible scenarios? Pat and I, talk, my partner, had talked about it. They're like, well, what can happen? A uh, babysitter who came in went, look, I don't know. No one, no one knew anything. Anyway, what did you tell me, Ira? Well, straight away, as soon as I uh, heard your question, the first thing that came to me, one, it wasn't stolen, and two, it wasn't misplaced. But I felt, too, you hadn't lost it yet. And the first thing that came to me was it's outside on your grass in your backyard. So I just said it's going to show up, but that's where I feel it is. So and you looking. just said you had looked everywhere yeah. and it just wasn't there. No. So, um, looked, so I left it with you. Yeah. yeah. So I said, leave it with me. And so we've had days of looking. Yesterday, my son came home. He'd had a few days with his dad and he was in the front yard with his handball. And I told him what had happened. And um, he kind of looked up at me and whatever. He went, oh, I'll have a look while I'm down here, mum. Has a look. Goes to an area that he's I've been to. Boy, isn't he? <laughs> he's a good boy. Um, anyway, next minute he's got it in his hand. Had yeah. the crystal in his hand. I'm like, get out. And I feel pack. spirit around though too. Well, yeah, I feel so something's moved it. Or um, I know you've got a sister that's passed as yes. well, but I feel it's family or something to do with her too. Is there anything coming up around her or that has been where she's wanting to say hello? Yeah, or? Well, my daughter just had her first birthday. So I've had like huge activity around at home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just feel something, someone's just shuffling it, but I'm glad it showed up though it too. Did. Yeah. And it was on the grass. Exactly. Lucky you didn't throw the accusations. No. Well, that's what I did. I was really cautious. On the borderline. And I didn't know. And I just you thought, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, you around the front don't. yard of my the place. Foot was lifted. Crystal. It's, uh, I was like, oh, but I was panicked because I thought someone had come up into the front of yeah, the house. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anyway, all is great. The crystal is back hanging in its prime posing. <laughs> right and then, I, then I was braming the crows. I thought a crow was coming. <laughs> I mean, everybody. Anyway. I had to accuse someone. Yeah. Well, there has to be. I had to camp over. <laughs> there had to it be. Oh, like, I think it's there somewhere. Well, Pat had a look and did say to me, I think I heard a man look and might need to reach it. Um, Katie's from Yamanta. She's on the phone. Uh, Katie, you've got a question for Ira this morning. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, good morning, Katie, and thank you for calling up. Oh, I've just got mixed emotions with you straight away, actually. Funny enough, I feel sort of happy, but then at the same time, too, I'm feeling sad or I feel like I'm seeing tears, too. There's, uh, It's not... You direct your guides are saying, but just be aware there's illness around or there's someone with ill health I'm, I'm being shown too that's somehow connected with you too. Um, the other thing I'm getting shown too is a very strong letter B connected with you. Who's someone in your life very strongly with a letter B? Okay, well, congratulations oh, wow, there because there obviously there's going to be marriage coming up for you. But at the same time too, I feel like there's someone very ill and I feel like it's a, a female too. I I don't get a good vibe, actually, funny enough. There's no one around you, too. I'm just going to throw it out there because I'm hearing the big C. Who's got cancer around at the moment? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm just going to say this. As soon as you answered the question, the big thing that I'm, I'm getting is happiness, but trials and tribulations. So it's almost like I've got, obviously, the good news and congratulations there with the engagement and a marriage coming up. Why, too, do I feel like you guys have already done four or five years, too? Yeah, have you locked in the date already for this year? Uh, we've 
Okay, I just, I've got a funny feeling it could end up happening this year for you. So I'm just going to say congratulations there straight away and on the relationship thus far. Still a long way to go for the two of you, but something's, I'm just going to say, I don't get a good vibe with this mother-in-law uh, connected with you. Um, and I just feel like I've got a bit of a battle going on too. It's nothing to do with brain or breast cancer, is it? Where, where is it? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just not getting a good vibe, but the, I'm just getting mixed emotions with you. You've got a bit of a ride to wave this next month, unfortunately, Katie. But at the same time, too, it's almost like you've still got a lot to actually look forward to as well. But the big thing I just get shown straight away is obviously to do with the relationship and the congratulations there. Be prepared for a wedding this year. That's one thing I'm getting shown. But I'm also getting, I must be honest, I'm getting mixed feelings in regards to this, uh, this mother-in-law, too, actually, around, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, look, at the end of the day, too, it's it just, yeah... It's a really mixed emotion that I'm getting with you, but every, everything will present itself in due course for you. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about that, Katie. It's just, yeah, I just feel there's got, there's some big things happening in these next few weeks that you're just going to have to get through and that will set up the rest of the year for you. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Is that what you're calling for to find out about that? Okay, uh, well, that answers the question then. In a way, I've just got to be very cautious because I'm not a grim reaper, so I never want to hand out a death sentence or anything like that. But as soon as you ask a question today, I'm getting congratulations and celebrations, but then I'm also getting commiseration too in regards to health, and I got cancer around as well. Um, but yeah, I think just in a few weeks, things will be presented to you that will shape your year. Okay, so hang in there. I send you my love and light, and, and I'm sorry I had to, yeah, just be direct with you, but all will be good. Okay. Thank Thanks, Katie. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, wow. yeah, it's just one of those things that <laughs> I guess as a psychic, you've got to deal with all yeah, uh, everything that comes to you, all of questions. Course. But that's just, yeah, I just, wow. I didn't get the best vibe there, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, readings are about guidance and reassurance. And in, in a way, that's what she called for. And I hope she can take something from it. All right. Yeah. Thanks uh, for coming in again this morning. Where can we contact you? Well, guys, obviously, you can go to my website, i2i.com.au, or you can visit my Facebook page, which is ira.i2i. Um, yeah, and I'll be in town for another week before heading to Melbourne and then Bali in August and America in September. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I, I'm around though. I am around. There's plenty of ways to get hold of me. Is that yeah. a psychic thing or do you, are you actually booked? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a yeah, there's a bit of business and pleasure, but yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a busy few months coming up. Oh, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so us. much for having me come in, guys. Ira, the sexy psychic, joining us this morning at River 949. Wow.